लॉजिकल इवनिंग एवरी वन सो आई थिंक वी हैड अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशन टूडे आई नॉट टेक मच टाइम आई थिंक वील वील स्ट्रेट अवे हिट द बुल्स आई पुश योर सेल्फ फील पॉजिटिव एंड वील डू इट टूडे इज मॉक इफ आई रेफर टू in my opinion the mock happens to be an easy one when i talk about uh, this test that is precisely 2269 that is 2269 i repeat and i clarify the test code is 2269 we had eight passages just to get you well prepared that it's not necessary that there would be an even distribution of marks for the eight passages we had eight passages the first five questions were on kidnapping the next six one were about auction then we had some that was criminal law then contract then torts then we have damnums and injuria and then we had writ of mendemus so look at the beauty criminal law contracts tort constitution then a kind of uh, language driven uh, philosophical kind of thing of rule of law which is an offshoot of constitution of course and then we again had criminal law law of sedition general and specific offer which was contract and then consumer protection act we had four questions so we had a variety of passages where we had five questions six questions and four questions with this point clear it's all good to go ahead logical evening everyone it's wonderful it's wonderful to be in your company i know it's getting late so let's let's just get into the questions for today for today for the champions when i talk about this was a total that was achievable someone getting 36 plus stellar performance fantastic fantabulous then this 34 is a good performance that's okay decent performance 30 now the question is the bar is high yes i love in setting the benchmarks high so in my opinion the score which i am saying is really correct then going ahead we had 26 marks for an average performance and someone scoring less than 22 i'll not be here to cushion you emotionally i would be blunt in saying that it's too lesser total on board you should work hard so that's all the kind of score analysis that we have let's straight away go into the questions understanding the offset that that we already know the required mindset for is focus now starting with the first passage first it is about kidnapping and then it is defined what are the age of kidnapping offset mein jo d hota hai d right then what are the ingredients taking or enticing then age out of the keeping of lawful guardian and with without the consent of such guardian then an example is given then a case law is given so it's a perfect passage to apply offset furthermore when i talk about this passage in specific it's a classic passage which uh, clat would tend to give and and normal kind of questions where you score good marks so that is what this passage means to me then there was this judgment since you have already read the passage if you have clear understanding just write why we'll just go ahead because the passage is quite simple it's talking about enticing or taking away a minor from the lawful guardianship of the guardian and all these terms are explained and then in the last line we get to see the difference between abduction and kidnapping so priyashi says clear aviral says clear the moment i have 10 clear i'm all good to go so i have already 4 5 6 priyashi aviral shrestha jayesh ankul rishika keshav tanu aditi samta says why so let's go see the questions now the question framing was a bit different here which of the following cannot be taken as lawful guardian now it's application of your understanding a teacher in school legal guardian nahi legal guardian jisko custody hai to lawful guardian hota hai question hai who cannot to ye to hai ye hamara answer nahi ho sakta grandparents of course hote hain 
वॉचमैन वेन पेरेंट्स आर नॉट एडाउन हो सकते हैं ये नो ब्रेनर डी डेली इज द राइट आंसर अभय अनुराग अबिरल महिमा कौशिकी अंकुल ऋषिका आर करेक्ट आई थिंक इट्स गुड टू गो टू सेकेंड क्वेश्चन सिंपल क्वेश्चन देन देर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू नादान इज अ ट्वेंटी वन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट ही इज नॉट माइनर After having an affair with another girl, girl is seventeen and a half. Now the question says, girl is seventeen and a half. What does it mean? It means she is minor. And if she is minor, she follows his order and leaves her home. Under can she do? Can see this? The baat hai. The girl is a minor. She is taken out of the lawful guardianship of her parents, of her guardians, and this amounts to kidnapping, which is no brainer. But the question is. Which way was it taking away? No, it was enticement. It was enticement, and the term enticement is clearly defined here. Here, and the difference is also clear, clarified. When a person is induced by accused to come along with him, the person is enticed. So that is simple. Now going to question number three. First, uh, if I can have a quick answers, and then I'll say that it was an application based question based on the last question. If anyone, uh, you know, if you are quick at answers, we'll go good. It was, it was a simple question, but there was a twist in this. So you are able to understand. Great going. Question number three. Question number three. Yes. Question number three. Um, Anurag says A. Aviral says B. Priyashi says C. And Ankul says D. Now this is fantastic. This is fantastic. A B C D and then C D C D. Wonderful. So it's this A B C D. Oh no, C is now more. So it's changing. Now look at the question. Now this is a beauty of the framing of a simple question. Here the girl was seventeen and a half years. So she was minor. And if she is minor, then her enticing or taking away would tend to amount to kidnapping. Now look at the question. The girl in the last case tells that it is not the right time to flee after eight months. Now look at the logic. After eight months, she is already seventeen and a half, so she is of course eighteen. And if she is eighteen years, then kidnapping is not possible. Got the logic right? It was a twister. Answer would be now people will be tempted. Ye bhi sahi hai. ये भी सही है इसकी रीजनिंग ये भी सही है पीपल माइट बी थिंकिंग दिस बट इफ यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड दिस लॉजिक यू मिस्ड आउट दे ऑल आर रॉन्ग द राइट आंसर इज कैलकटा ग्रेट गोइंग हर्ष मितांशु मानवी एवरीबॉडी लुक इन टू दिस आई होप द रीजनिंग इज करेक्ट लाइक दिस वन यू शुड हैव लाइक इफ यू लाइक कीप लाइक हाउ राइट चलो आगे चलते हैं If you like this question, uh, press your like here. Let me see, and I think we should go ahead. ठीक है? इसमें learning थी, tricky था, मजेदार था. आगे चलते हैं. Vidhi, a 33-year-old a woman, and Vidhan, a six-year-old boy. Now the boy was alone at railway station. Now question number four. The fact Anurag says is D is wrong because it should have been taken out of lawful guardianship. किसी की गार्जियनशिप के अंदर से बच्चे को निकाल के लाना बच्चा तो अकेला वैसे ही रेलवे स्टेशन पे खड़ा है किसी की गार्जियनशिप में नहीं है नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन विद अ चाइल्ड इज अलोन चाइल्ड इज अंडर कस्टडी ऑफ नो बॉडी यू नो इज अलोन एट अ रेलवे स्टेशन एट दिस वन इन टाइम द लेडी टू केम टू रेस्टोरेंट हैड द चाइल्ड बी अंडर द लॉफुल गार्जियन ऑफ समबडी देन इट वुड है किडनेपिंग बट दैट डिड नॉट हैपन बी बॉम्बे इज द आंसर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर People marking B is this. People marking D is this. B is the right answer. I hope the reasoning is correct. Reasoning, समझ में आई? Why? लिखो. We'll go ahead. चले आगे. Suppose Vidhi found Vidhan outside his school premises. How would Vidhi's liability? Now she found him alone. He is alone at a railway station. A six-year-old boy. She did not take him from the lawful guardianship, and hence it is not kidnapping. But in the next case, she is in the lawful. The boy is in the lawful guardianship of a school. We take that boy from school and take him to somewhere other place. So it amounts to kidnapping. Now, in question number five, Deepika, Vidhi Sharma, Priyashi, Aditya, 
Manishi, Tanu, Jayesh, everybody is very clear कि अब तो kidnapping हो जाएगी D Delhi. Tanisha is wrong. चलो that was a simple thing. Now coming to the term auction, the meaning of term auction. Now auction they have told it is it is a concept under sales of goods act. Here in this entire passage, the roles, the responsibility of auctioneer is explained. It is being clarified that the moment hammer is beaten, it amounts to sell, and then it is clarified the process of it. Then here it is. clarified that goods are the subject matter of sales here the process that the moment the hammer falls the bidding is over and the deal is done interestingly this is an exception the seller must reserve a right to bid the if i am selling my pen you uh, uh, make a bid for 5000 rupees being a seller i can also bid for selling buying my own pen but he must expressly reserve such right to bid this is the condition precedent ye wali condition honi chahiye if the seller is not notified about his bid bid he may not do so in any circumstances wagera wagera then here reserve price and then here goods cannot be given on credit and fraudulent transactions so this is all you know that you should have seen in the passage straight away hitting bulls eye let's go to the questions which of the following statements are true about an auction sale covered under section 64 now this is a variety of question there's a new variety of question write three statements which one are correct so for question number 6 anyone who buy good in auction sale paying the price demanded by the seller now when you talk about question number 6 not the price demanded by the seller everyone marking c are wrong the majority mark c and they are wrong the majoritarian view is wrong you can buy goods by paying the amount demanded by the seller wo to reserve price hota hai it is the highest bid to so highest bid pe aap khareed sakte ho not reserve price so a lot of uh, tricks and things to know owner of goods cannot sell his own goods in an auction sale now the question is which of the following is true he can of course buy and sell owner of a good cannot sell is is nonsense it is wrong it is also false in an auction sale the buyer has a right to declare a contract void in of course so the answer to me is b bombay only c is correct anybody having any doubt kaushiki sharma tanu sharma tanishka lakhina priyashi singh ankul prajapati prashant yadav and nishu mishran these people have answered it right kudos to you kids good going I hope you got the logic right. Answer sahi tha is one thing. Logic sahi tha is another. Asa to koi nahi na. Iska logic galat hone yaad hi question sahi ho gaya. That should not happen. Chal. We'll go to the next question now. Chal. Harsh Gaur, samajh mein nahi aaya kya? If you are not able to understand, ask me and ask me fast. In the interim, we'll see the next question. Which of the following statement can be inferred from the given passage? now saying so the operation of auction sales in some way is inspired by the customary practices likha tha usme then contracts made under auction sales cannot be challenged uh, to the disadvantage of the seller no they can be challenged in an auction sale the auctioneer always not servant its agent auction sales are gambling nonsense a agra is the answer n for no doubt okay harsh good going n for no doubt you are right a7 ka a is good 8 pe chalte hain vidhan sold five vintage car usme ek jo car thi wo stolen thi what shall be the fate fate hoga jo stolen contract thi jo stolen wali car thi my god the gandagi is out <laughs> cockroaches everywhere anyways coming back 
question number eight when we talk about auction of car then when we talk about this car it was stolen one car was stolen so that contract happens to be void so the contract shall be void and vidhi can return only the car fraudulently claimed by b bombay is a maximum people writing so the question that majority gets right so no point taking discussion further suppose in the above given question vidhi bids highest for only one car on the completion of auction vidhi could not pay she could not pay for it then what is going to happen in question number 9 From the passage, we only could infer that in that case she have made a bid, because in our passage, there is a concept that is earnest money deposit. It was not given to us. So, it is an external information. Earnest money deposit is that when you are going to an auction where reserve price is 100 rupees, so first they told us that if you give 10 rupees, then you will participate in the auction. In case you are not giving 100 rupees, the final 100 rupees is not given to you, and whatever the highest bid was, 110 rupees highest bid was, you will not pay this, so this money will be forfeited. So in this case, ऐसा तो कुछ था नहीं इसे बोलते हैं अर्नेस्ट मनी डिपॉजिट जस्ट अ कॉन्सेप्ट दैट यू शुड हैव नोन विच इज नॉट गिवन इन दी पैसेज सो नीडलेस टू नो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज गोइंग टू बी डी डेली शिल नॉट बी एबल टू बाय कार दैट इज ऑल दैट इज ऑल ही बींग एन आर्टिस्ट हिमसेल्फ इन एन ऑक्शन ऑक्शन करवा रहा है उदय विधि ने हाइएस्ट बिड की उदय ने एक और बिड की जो अपना ऑप्शन करा रहा है सेलर उसी ने बिड कर दी हायर देन विधि विच वुड स्ट्रेंथन दी आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ विधि मतलब अभी विधि को उदय के अगेंस्ट में करना है उदय खुद सेलर है क्वेश्चन में लिखा था सेलर को क्या करना चाहिए क्वेश्चन में बहुत क्लैरिटी से लिखा था उसे रिजर्व करना चाहिए राइट टू बिड अगर वो रिजर्व था तो ऐसा कर सकता नहीं तो नहीं कर सकता तो वॉट वुड स्ट्रेंथन विधि केस दैट ही डिड नॉट हैव ही डिड नॉट रिजर्व द राइट टू बिड Or what would have weakened her case that Uday reserved right to bid in this bidden process. So answer to the question is definitely B Bombay. That takes us further to the next passage. Oh, oh, one more question to go. Vidhan went to an auction, made highest bid to buy an ashtray. The auctioneer dropped the hammer and accepted Vidhan's bid. Vidhi was absent, couldn't bid. Later, Vidhi approached that she is ready to pay double the price. Can anything bid would be done? No. The moment hammer falls, the case is closed, which is why the answer to this question would be B Bombay without an iota of doubt. Priyashi, Jayesh, and Mahima are right. Avril J option I am yet to explore, but लिख रहे हो तो हो गई. He retracted. Okay. Let's go into the passage two. Passage two. There are two simple concepts. They are injuria sine damnum and damnum sine injuria. Anybody who is preparing for CLAT, if is not clear with these two concepts, then you are in troubled waters. This is bare minima. This is a point where the learning begins in thoughts, है ना? So I don't find. I mean, if if it is do do I is there a requirement? It should be explained. The passage is already known to you. Damnum sine injuria is a classical position. Where your legal right has not been violated, only loss has been caused, and this is why it is not an actionable tort. To the contrary, injuria sine damnum is a position where your legal right has been violated, but no actual loss has been caused, and it is an actionable tort. All right. So with that point settled, let's then Gloucester Grammar School case and Ashby versus White is something that we should know. So let's let's go into the questions. Question number twelve. Which of the following cases the court can award damages to the plaintiff? Damages to the plaintiff means where the case will be injury or sine damnum. Question number twelve may injury or sine damnum. See, so we get to understand damage, but no no legal injury, no compensation. Legal injury, compensation. No damage, no legal injury, no legal injury, no compensation. Both damage and legal injury compensation. Two and four answers Delhi. Yes, Dia, Koshiki, Uncle, Mayma, Tarf. Good going. Wonderful. Which of the following cases may be the most suitable illustration of a legal injury? Legal injury means what? Violation of legal right. Making customers stand in waiting lines. Seemingly not. 
पब्लिक हॉस्पिटल रिफ्यूजिंग टू एडमिट पेशेंट नाउ दिस इज ट्रिकी ये तो नहीं हो सकता शॉपकीपर रिफ्यूजिंग टू गिव अफकोर्स नहीं होगा प्राइवेट टैक्सी नहीं होगा क्यों एक सरकारी अस्पताल में एक आदमी का अधिकार है कि उसको एडमिट करें वो डिनाई कर देता है तो यहां पे उसका लीगल राइट वायलेट होता है क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन विधान इज अ फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट ऑफ एम ए पोलिटिकल साइंस एट अ प्रेस्टिजियस यूनिवर्सिटी कॉल जेन यू सो जेन यू में ये विधान पढ़ते हैं and he was wrongly detailed detained by the police on the way of his examination center and kept him in custody for 10 days consequently he could not appear for his final exam what has happened his legal rights have been violated so when you talk about question number 14 it's going to be cake walk loss and legal injury both The Delhi is the answer. Everyone is right on this. So let's go to question number fifteen. If the examination would have been cancelled, if examination would have been cancelled, then what would happen? Legal injury would have been, but damage would not have happened. Case would have been injury. Yes, in a damn name, ka fifteen answer is this. No doubts. I think question number fifteen can have no, no, no doubts. No, no doubts. Priyashi, Mitanshu, Deepika, Aviral, Jayesh, Mahima, Tanisha, Uncle. Everybody is right. Question number sixteen. Vidhi went to cinema to watch a religious mythological film named ABC. After watching the film, Vidhi accused the filmmaker of hurting her religious sentiments that the film ridiculed God Z, who Vidhi worshipped. Can she bring suit against the filmmakers under torts? Answers, of course, no. Sixteen. Everyone is marking C. Makes sense. Simple. Let's come to the next passage. like we have had basic topics by now all right so the next topic is again something that is a bare minimum that every law aspirant should know they should know those five rits if you're not knowing those five rits it's a bad time all right so when we talk about those five rits writ of habeas corpus writ of mandamus writ of certiorari writ of prohibition and writ of quo warranto so until you don't know that i mean you are doing no good so when we talk about passage 4 it's about writ of mandamus and it is clarified that what does this writ mean where does it apply and when what simply saying when a public authority is not performing a public duty that is violative of somebody's right at that time this writ is maintainable and then it is said that this writ can be issued by high court under 226 and supreme court under article 32 where for under article 32 it can be only for the enforcement of fundamental rights to the contrary in high court it can be for the enforcement of statutory as well as fundamental rights then there is a case law being discussed wherein there was a malafide attributed to arrest of a person and not allowing uh, the operation of a bank account and then there was a madras high court decision saying that in such case the writ of mandamus is maintainable so this was the crux of the passage simple hai let's go into this question which of the following cases can a writ of mandamus be ordered against the private shopkeeper private hai to nahi ho rahi against the state for refund of tax collected erroneously yes public authority error that can be done against the welfare society no not state against the university to award scholarship to the first rankers of course not answer this bombay vidhi was erroneously left out of electoral rolls which would have been the right approach provided right to vote is not a fundamental right it if it is not a fundamental right then she cannot go under she cannot go to supreme court she can go to high court under 226 that is what our information says because this can be used for statutory eighteenth ka answer b bombay is marked by many अंकुल प्रजापति अर्ड अविरल अर्ड महिमा अर्ड इसमें बोथ सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि ये फंडामेंटल राइट right नहीं है आर्टिकल 32 टू 26 का 
you know you got 17 sessions on constitution that is bloody nowhere in the country they are done so still if you don't understand 32 and 226 then it's a big big mistake when you talk about 32 and 226 we need to know that it is only for violation of fundamental rights yes yeah, fundamental rights or other legal rights so 2226 may high court ka domain itna bada hai jaan fundamental right plus legal right hai or supreme court ka domain 32 may only fundamental right hai. right chalo in the last question the competent court can issue the writ for follow which of the following to cancel nahi to have our name answer c 19th ka answer is c लास्ट केस में कोर्ट कर क्या सकती है सिर्फ इलेक्शन कमीशन को बोल सकती है टू हैव हर नेम बैक आंसर सी दैट इज अ पब्लिक अथॉरिटी परफॉर्मिंग पब्लिक ड्यूटी द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर वेरी सिंपल आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डीप एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ देम इन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग केस द कोर्ट इज सेड टू एक्सीड इट्स ज्यूरिस्डिक्शन ऐसा कौन सा केस है जहां कोर्ट अपना ज्यूरिस्डिक्शन से ज्यादा फैल रहा है लेट्स सी क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट इशूड अ मैंडेमस अगेंस्ट द स्टेट काउंटरिंग अनलॉफुल डिटेंशन डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट के पास मैंडेमस इशू करने की पावर ही नहीं होती हाई कोर्ट फॉर नॉन परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ड्यूटी ये है सही है ये सही है एक्सीड यहां पे हो रहा है क्योंकि डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट के पास पावर ही नहीं होती आंसर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी इज ए वंडरफुल गोइंग एवरीबॉडी लेट्स गो डू ट्वेंटी वन टू वन सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट ट्वेंटी वन विधान अपियर फॉर एन एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इन पब्लिक यूनिवर्सिटी विधान ऑल्सो विल बेनिफिट ऑफ वगैरह वगैरह and after the declaration of results university changed the regulation which was proved to be disadvantageous to vidhan can they do it after you know the person has after the results are declared you can't change hua kya university ne reservation lagaya reservation ke hisab se exam karaya exam ka result bhi aa gaya ab result aane ke baad bol rahe hain hum reservation ko undo karna chahte hain question hai कि वंस द रिजल्ट आर अनाउंस इट इट इज रॉन्ग ऑन दी पार्ट ऑफ स्टेट टू डू सो और ऐसे केस में पब्लिक अथॉरिटी इज नॉट परफॉर्मिंग पब्लिक ड्यूटी कोर्ट कैन इश्यू अ रिट ऑफ मैंडमस के जो आप कर रहे हैं गलत कर रहे हैं एंड दिस यू शुड नॉट डू यू शुड रिफ्रेन फ्रॉम डूइंग सो सो टू दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन दिया इज रॉन्ग अविरल इज रॉन्ग एस अदर्स आर राइट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द रीजन एज वेल एक बार एडमिशन होने के बाद वो रूल चेंज नहीं होना चाहिए आज क्लैट का नोटिफिकेशन आया क्लैट का नोटिफिकेशन समझ के पढ़ के आपने भरा उसकी इंफॉर्मेशन के अनुसार आप एग्जाम भी देके आ गए अब रिजल्ट आने के बाद बोलने के वो जो क्राइटेरिया थे ना पुराने हम सब चेंज कर रहे हैं तो वो अगले साल से चेंज कर लो बट दिस इज अ टू लेट स्टेज टू चेंज इट दैट इज हाउ इट शुड बी राइट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी राजीव सिंह मेकिंग सेंस अंकुल क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड पे चले गए ओके okay. Now going to question number twenty second. Everyone is rushing to question number twenty second. Answer as D. Vidhi and Vidhan are two adults who escaped their house to marry each other. Vidhi's parents were against the marriage. They warned the couple for the honor killing. The couple approached the high court to seek protection. Which of the following remedies are available? The matter is not within the jurisdiction of high court as it deals with the fundamental rights to protect. Anyone marking D is ridiculous. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. <coughs> C. A public authority made to perform public duty. Police is under duty to protect them from honor killing. Come on. Anyone missing on question number twenty second? Writing D is absurd. Absurd. Police is a public authority, and they have to perform a public duty, and that duty is to protect them. The threat is honor killing. Jan se mar denge. Aapki jan kari ke liye ye ek decided case law hai. Jahan pe unhone bola hai ki they have to be given protection. People marking C good, maximum marking D all bad, bad one. Reasoning is clear, I hope. Now this question is interesting. The rule of law 
डाइसियन कॉन्सेप्ट ए वी डाइसी ब्रिंग्स दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रूल ऑफ लॉ एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रूल ऑफ लॉ वट डज इट मीन सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ लॉ एबसेंस ऑफ एग्जीक्यूटिव आर्बिटरीनेस वॉट इज आर्बिटरीनेस अनरीजनेबलनेस राइट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया इंटेंडेड फॉर इंडिया टू बी अ कंट्री गवर्न बाय रूल ऑफ लॉ देन दे टॉक्ट अबाउट आर्टिकल थर्टीन क्लॉज वन दैट एनी लॉ विच इज नॉट कंफर्मिंग विथ फंडामेंटल राइट इज वॉइड देन सेंग आर्टिकल ट्वेंटी वन सेंग दैट आर्बिटरी नो पर्सन शैल बी डिप्राइड इज लाइफ एंड लिबर्टी एक्सेप्ट इन अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रोसीजर स्टैब्लिश बाय लॉ तो वहां आर्बिटरीनेस को कम करने के लिए देन आर्टिकल फोर्टीन देन एडीएम जबलपुर केस इन सारे एग्जाम्पल से ऑथर ने बताया कि रूल ऑफ लॉ यूके में तो बोला जाता है कि एक कॉन्सेप्ट है जिसके हिसाब से लॉ बनते हैं भारत के कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में रूल ऑफ लॉ इनहेरेंट है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली रूल ऑफ लॉ को अपहोल्ड करते हैं कोई भी लॉ जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के हिसाब से ठीक नहीं हो वैसे ही वॉइड है एंड इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज कस्टोडियन और इट प्रोटेक्ट और इट अपहोल्ड दैंक्टिटी एंड वैल्यू ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रूल ऑफ लॉ विच इज कार्डिनल प्रिंसिपल ऑन विच अ लीगल सिस्टम शुड बी बेस्ड राइट सो दिस इज वॉट this article talks about now let's go quicker question number 23 which of the following statements can be inferred from dicey's idea of rule of law based on the given passage dicey supports dictatorship usne bola executive arbitrariness jo desh ko chalane wale executive hain wo arbitrary nahi ho wo reasonable ho reasonableness is an antithesis to arbitrariness to ye to ho hi nahi sakta डाइसी वॉन्टेड जुडिशरी टू बी सुप्रीम लॉ मेकर इन दी कंट्री ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता डाइसी वॉन्टेड टू डिप्राइव पीपल दिस इज एक्सट्रीनियस टू टू एक्सट्रीनियस एपसर्ड ट्वेंटी थ्री का आंसर इज डी एनी वन मार्किंग एनी थिंग एक्सेप्ट डी इज इज रॉन्ग दैट्स नॉट कमिंग ऐसा नहीं लिखा है एग्जीक्यूटिव आर्बिटरीनेस के अगेंस्ट में था ना All right. I hope the reasoning is clear. We go ahead. <laughs> Which of the following provisions of the Indian Constitution is opposite to the rule of law? Removal of untouchability, equality. Article fourteen diya tha. So it is opposite. Chahiye. Nahi. It is for. So ye to galat ho gaya. Uplift SCST. Ye bhi galat ho gaya. President assuming exceptional power instead. Ye ho gaya na executive arbitrariness. तो ये ठीक लग रहा है जुडिशरी टू डिक्लेयर लॉ वॉइड इफ सी कैलकटा रीजनिंग समझ में आई वंडरफुल ग्रेट विधान इज अक्यूज ऑफ थेफ्ट पुलिस अरेस्ट हिम एंड कीप हिम कस्टडी फॉर टू इयर्स टेल मी टू क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव व्हाट इज योर आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर 25, क्वेश्चन नंबर 25, फाइव अवेल से इज डी पुलिस वर जस्टिफाइड ग्रेट नाउ आई जस्ट क्लैरिफाई द रीडिंग ऑफ क्वेश्चन विधि से इज डी रीड द क्वेश्चन वेल जुडिशियल इंटरवेंशन चाहिए जितने लोग सब डी मार्क कर रहे हैं ऑल आर रॉन्ग नाउ द आंसर ट्रेंड विल चेंज नाउ सी द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज गिवेन विधान इज अक्यूज ऑफ थे पुलिस अरेस्ट किया वो भी ठीक है कीप इम इन कस्टडी फॉर टू ईयर्स पुलिस दो साल कस्टडी में रख लिया एज द लॉ प्रिस्क्राइब्स टू ईयर्स इंप्रेजनमेंट फॉर थे विदाउट द रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायर्ड मतलब लॉ में रिक्वायर्ड था जुडिशियल इंटरवेंशन उनकी ड्यूटी दी जुडिशियल इंटरवेंशन मैजिस्ट्रेट के पास जाए ये भले ही पैसेज में नहीं दिया हुआ है लेकिन क्वेश्चन में दिया हुआ है एज रिक्वायर्ड जुडिशियल इंटरवेंशन जस्ट गिव इट अ थॉट आर्टिकल 22 that such accused person should be produced before the nearest magistrate within 24 hours plus the time taken to travel there is something if your prior knowledge se pata hota na to yahan pe ye chamak jata answer ki usko 2 saal band karke rakha hai pehle court se confirm to karate court deti hai saza police wale saza thodi na dete to the answer to question number 25 happens to be bombay people marking b kudos to you 
which of the following statement about the judicial system in our country resonated the dicey's concept of rule of law matlab rule of law ke sath consonance mein kya hai judiciary is independent need not enforce law made nahi legislature can declare legislature can declare no there is only one supreme court no isse to access of justice kam ho jata hai sahi hai 26 sd i think it was a cake walk everyone marking d and need not enforce ye ye jo last mein line likhi hai ye aviral tumhare liye likhi hai end ke baad aapne padha nahi hai good anshika reasoning is clear reasoning clear hona chahiye beta good anshika sir reasoning gadbad ho rahi hai question number 26 reasoning is wrong dia reasoning is wrong and need not enforce the laws made by legislature now here it is got the reasoning right chalo then the next passage six the six passage is about an offense which is termed as a draconian law an offense that time and again i am saying that i don't know i have a gut feeling that clat consortium might have a, a feeling to bring that in the exam theek hai ye wala jo passage hai na sedition pe it is it is somewhere expected or it should and it can feature out main fir se repeat kar raha hu sare bacche yaad rakhiyega wo jo explained hai na vidhegya ka explained us explained ko acche se pad lena sedition pe jo tha क्योंकि आपके लिए बहुत आसान हो जाएगा सेडिशन की यात्रा देखना उसकी हिस्ट्री क्या थी कौन लोग उसके अंदर पनिश हुए थे अंग्रेज इसको क्यों लेके आए थे इसमें फेमस ट्रायल्स कौन सी हुई थी आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस इस पे सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट अगर कभी केस आया ना सेडिशन का तो केदारनाथ सिंह वर्ष स्टेट ऑफ बिहार होगा ही होगा उसमें यह लैंडमार्क जजमेंट है और इसमें क्लैरिफाई किया था कि सिर्फ सरकार के अगेंस्ट में बोलना सेडिशन नहीं है सेडिशन तब होगा जब कोई व्यक्ति ऐसी भड़काने वाली बात बोले जिससे कि वायलेंस हो जाए मतलब मियर क्रिटिसिज्म डज नॉट टेंट अमाउंट टू द ऑफेंस ऑफ सेडिशन इफ दैट पॉइंट इज क्लियर आई थिंक ये पूरा का पूरा जो पैसेज था ऑन सेडिशन आर्टिकल नाइनटीन टू में इसका जस्टिफिकेशन भी तो यू नीड टू नो आई थिंक If sedition as an offence is clear to you, I'll be I'll be tempted to go into questions. Can I? अगर passage समझ में आता है, ये offence समझ में आता है sedition, तो just if you can let me know if you if you say so, then we'll just go into the questions. If you say yes, say why. All right, चलो. I I have explained you offense of sedition. One more, then I will explain the PDF. Read it. Jay Sharma says yes, sir. Tanu Sharma says yes, sir. Dhanit says yes, sir. Aditya says yes, sir. Everyone says yes, sir. Read it. 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 Now, question number twenty-seven. In the terms of criticism, does not have a right to say, right to answer. What? No, this is wrong. This is not. Incite violence. It is correct. Only two. B Bombay. So Prashant, Deepika, Mahima, Aditi, Dia, Rohit, Kaushiki, Jayesh, Vidhi, Anshika. अनुराग गुड गोइंग गंस सिंपल क्वेश्चन था ना अगले पे चलते हैं विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग असर्शन बेस्ट सपोर्ट द ऑथर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑन द रीसेंट अरेस्ट एंड क्रिमिनलाइजेशन अंडर सेडिशन नो ऑथर इज क्रिटिकल ही सेज इट्स अ ड्रेकोनियन लॉ वॉट स्टेट इज डूइंग इट इज एक्सरसाइजिंग इट्स टोटेलिटेरियन पार्स विच इज विच इज अनजस्ट अनफेयर द टाइम टू डू अवे द लॉ इज कम सो ऑथर इज अगेंस्ट द लॉ that that point stands clear so with that point clear let's go to question number 
these occurrences point to the current ruling dispensation of authority uh, authoritarian nature of course yes under the guise of uh, sedition the ruling government is attempting to suffocate opposition exactly the answer is going to be bombay agra dono so it's going to be c calcutta both a and b everyone marking a why not to the government what is it saying uske passage mein likha tha whosoever is speaking against the government whosoever gets into opposition the government crush the person so what is the answer both one and two understand the reasoning well you need to understand what is true about sedition law understand this well next one vidhi was a participant in ntca protest in december and then there was a intense thing happening and then there was violence and all and all and all so tell me question number 29 i like 29 is is a good question again it's a kind of a twister so just let me know answer to question number 29 fat fat bata de 29 ke answer 29 b रीजनिंग वाई ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी बिकॉज ए और बी दोनों चीजें सही है उसमें अंशिका सिंह ठाकुर दोनों चीज सही है बेटा क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन पे आ गए अब एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन में बी एंड सी कुछ कुछ बच्चे डी बोल रहे हैं बी सी डी और राइट नो वट यूनिट टू अंडरस्टैंड पैसेज में लिखा हुआ है कि अगर एक पर्सन के इंसाइट कर देने से लोग भड़क जाएं और उसी समय इमीडिएट कॉन्सिक्वेंस हो वायलेंस का तो तो सेडिशन का ऑफेंस बनता है इमीडिएट कॉन्सिक्वेंस हो वायलेंस आई रिपीट इमीडिएट कॉन्सिक्वेंस हो वायलेंस बट ट्रस्ट मी यहां इमीडिएट कॉन्सिक्वेंस वायलेंस नहीं है आई रिपीट इमीडिएट कॉन्सिक्वेंस वायलेंस नहीं है क्योंकि ये एक्ट हुआ दिसंबर में आया ऑन 24 दिसंबर 2019 उनने विजिट किया और लगभग उसके चार महीने बाद ये हुआ तो वाई शुड शी बी लाइबल सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 पीपल मार्किंग डी आई एम हैप्पी फॉर यू ग्रेट गोइंग गंस इसके अलावा किसी ने कुछ और मार्क किया तो रीजनिंग गड़बड़ आई होप यू गॉट द रीजनिंग राइट If you have any question, just bring it on. Otherwise, we go to the next question. आगे चलते हैं कि जो पूछना तो पूछ लीजिए. Next, according to the information provided in the past, which of the following is not a protection mechanism instituted by judiciary to defend the country's right to free speech and expression? So, Article 19.1 A or 19.2 इसकी बात हो रही है. Not a protection. 30. In terms of components of sedition, the prosecuting state has burden of proof. State has burden of proof on sedition. Second, the difference between advocacy and this is a protection. ये तो protection है. Strict interpretation of prohibition. प्रोटेक्शन है इंस्टिगेशन डायरेक्ट रिजल्ट होना चाहिए ये भी प्रोटेक्शन है क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी इज द आंसर और कुछ हो भी नहीं सकता था ज्ञान लिखा हुआ है बहुत सारा दैट्स ओके लेट्स गेट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन Which of the following? Which of the following situation under 124A can be used in according to the Law Commission of India's 2018 report? This is interesting. Question number 31. Law Commission की जो report refer थी उसमें okay. Number 31. people all are very clear good when an 
when any act is carried out with the purpose of disrupting public order or overthrowing the government through the use of violence or illegal means correct under the guise of protest there are open public criticism on the government this is not in question number 31 without an iota of doubt a is the answer ye dono inconsistent hai ho nahi sakte people marking c is like it's it's either or a or b hota ho nahi sakta a ke alawa kuch now the seventh passage now they're talking about general and specific offer then defined what is author according to offer according to the ensen then they are talking about and identical offers called cross offers then invitation to offer now this passage is a good 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 way of memorizing your concept aapko pata hona chahiye offer when a person signifies his willingness to do or abstain from doing something is offer when a person give assent to an offer it is acceptance acceptance shall be unconditional unqualified when two offers are made in ignorance of each other's offers are cross offer when offer is made instead of accepting that offer a person tweak some or make some amendments to the existing offer and gives another offer as counter offer wahan bhi acceptance nahi hoti to ye basic cheeze hain yaad honi chahiye and there is a big difference between offer and invitation to offer invitation to offer is a condition precedent to offer तो आपके कॉन्सेप्ट बिल्कुल क्लियर होंगे ऐसा मान के चलते हैं आगे है ना तो यही सब था पैसेज में तो लेट्स गोइंग टू क्वेश्चंस ये वाला क्वेश्चन है ना इसको डिस्कस ही नहीं करना इट्स वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम इट्स कार्लिल वर्सेस कार्बोलिक इट वाज मार्क्ड सर्व्ड इन प्लेटर स्मोक बॉल कंपनी उसके फैक्ट्स रेप्लीकेटेड है क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू इज अक वॉक यू राइट दी आंसर देन वी गो एड क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू अविरल हाउ कम बी कम ऑन कम ऑन नॉट डन उसे कौन बन रही जनरल ऑफर का केस है आंसर इज सी ऑफ कोर्स हा अंशिका गलत बेटा बी गलत बी गलत राजीव सिंह बी गलत रॉन्ग आई जस्ट टेल यू Vidhi used the smoke balls according to the direction, but she nevertheless suffered from influenza. What will happen? Ye wala question. If somebody is doing wrong, I'm I'm really 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 unhappy. This is not done. This is not done. This should not have been incorrect. Anyways, let's go ahead. Manishi and Samta good. Dhanet good. Question number thirty-three. Vidhi wrote to Vidhan. Offering to sell him Honda bike for rupees fifty thousand. On the same day, Vidhan wrote to Vidhi, offering to buy. Now, before answering the question, tell me what is it? It is a classic case for what? More than your answer, you should have this reasoning. Vidhi is making an offer to Vidhan, and the same offer is being made here. What is it? It's cross offer. Answer is Delhi. Question number thirty-four. In a case, Vidhi carries out on business cell service shop. She picks up a bottle of medicine. She is trying to buy it. Vidhi refuses to sell it. now in this question everyone is right but i would want to know the concept it is invitation to offer without an iota of doubt every child is correct it's c calcutta going good let's go to the next question choose the most appropriate reason if the assertion now this is a different kind of a question ye naya variety ka question tha i wish that you know clat Raises the bar in legal. They learn something good. No, we. We'll, I, I believe that you know the, these questions are good learnings. 
चूज द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट रीजन इफ द असरशन इज या असरशन दिया हुआ है इसका रीजन क्या होगा और रीजन भी कैसा मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट अगर दो रीजन है तो सबसे अच्छा रीजन हो वो दे दो क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज नॉट कंक्लूडेड इन केस ऑफ क्रॉस ऑफर दो देर इज मीटिंग ऑफ माइंड हा बट नॉट बट ऑफ एक्सेप्टेंस इज एबसेंट करेक्ट गलत ए आगरा Everybody marking A except Anurag Parihar and Harsh Gaur marking B. Cross offer में क्या हो रहा है Meeting of mind तो है वो भी वही चाह रहा था ये भी वही चाह रहा है लेकिन acceptance कभी हुई नहीं ऐसा author ने लिखा है आपके passage में दिया हुआ है Consensus एड एडम का मतलब क्या होता है Meeting of mind और the same thing in the same sense. I wish to sell my pen for rupees हंड्रेड Which pen? I think Parker. You think that you're going to get a शीफर So there's a difference. All right. Going next, question number question number thirty five. All right, it's simple. Thirty six. Which of the following statement would the author of the passage most likely to agree with? Author, काम आन जाएगा अपना. These are CR type questions which which one should be good at. So to question number thirty six, let's see. As there is a meeting of mind in cross offer, the contract is concluded by making cross offers. कभी नहीं हो सकता contract conclude हो ही नहीं सकता acceptance होता ही नहीं है invitation to offer and offer have same meaning. Of course not, definitely nonsense. Reply to invitation of offer concludes the contract, definitely not. In an auction, an auctioneer is not bound to accept the highest bid. Correct. Bid आना is an offer, accept करना is an acceptance. Thirty six का answer is D. Good going guns. बढ़िया द लास्ट पैसेज ऑफ द डे कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इन दिस एक्ट देर हैज बीन अ ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन अमेंडमेंट टू एवरीबाडी हूज हियर आई वुड जस्ट वॉन्ट यू दैट प्लीज बींग एट होम लर्न अ बिट अबाउट कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन बिकॉज इफ क्लैट इज टेस्टिंग समथिंग दैट इज न्यू इफ क्लैट गोज ऑन टू टेस्ट समथिंग वेर दे आर टेस्टिंग कंटेम्पररी लीगल डेवलपमेंट एज दे हैव टेस्टेड ऑलरेडी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आई थिंक देर इज अ डिसेंट स्कोप दैट दे माइट आर समथिंग अबाउट कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट सो कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट का जो टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन अमेंडमेंट आया था जहां पर पिक्यूनरी जूरिस डिक्शन चेंज किया डिस्ट्रिक्ट फोरम का स्टेट कमीशन का और नेशनल कंज्यूमर डिस्प्यूट रिड्रेसल कमीशन एनसीडीआरसी का वो मालूम होना चाहिए इसमें जो थर्ड पार्टीज इंटरमीडियरीज की लाइबिलिटी थी उसकी बात हुई ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग की बात हुई तो ये बेसिक बातें आपको पता होना चाहिए कभी समय ना मिले तो ये जो आर्टिकल की लिंक है ना इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स की इसको पढ़ लेना इसमें भी अच्छे से दिया हुआ है ठीक है So let's go into the questions. ये मैं चाहता हूं इफ आई एक्सप्लेन आई थिंक यू नॉट गो इन टू दिस आई वॉन्ट एवरी स्टूडेंट हुज अटेंडिंग दिस सेशन प्लीज रीड दिस आर्टिकल बाई इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स इफ यू नॉट एबल हैविंग टाइम टू रीड एनीथिंग एल्स जस्ट रीड इट राइट विदान रिसेंटली ऑर्डर्ड अ फोन फ्रॉम एमेजॉन द डिलीवरी पैकेज केम विद अ डमी फोन हा भगवान ना करे किसी के साथ ऐसा हो Vidhan called the customer service to report the event, but they say the responsibility lies with the delivery guy. The question is: Is the complaint against Amazon maintainable? Answer is of course yes, of course yes. So consumers have apparent bad reason. C Calcutta is the answer. Everybody marking C. Priyashi, Nishu, Harsh, Jayesh, Anurag, Mahima, Prashant, Kaushiki, Aditi, Dia. Everybody, good going. 38 पे चलते हैं विधान फ्रॉम सूरत ऑर्डर्ड अ बनारसी सिल्क साड़ी फ्रॉम वाराणसी हैंडलूम ओवर एमेजॉन है ना हा 37 सेवन सीन बिल्कुल सही है द सारीज गॉट डिलीवर्ड वर टॉन ही कॉल्ड अप द सेलर सेलर टोल्ड कैन नॉट रिप्लेस द साड़ीज कैन विदान फाइल केस अगेंस्ट सेलर इन सूरत यही तो जूरिस की बात हमारे पैसेज में लिखी हुई है आनंद हो गया इन लोगों के जीवन में अब जरूरत नहीं है कि वहां जाके फाइल करना पड़े वो कर सकता है डेली सीम्स राइट पीपल मार्किंग डी डेली ट्रेड गोइंग थर्टी नाइन 
विधान बॉट ओपन मिल्क और ये ओपन मिल्क कैसा था ये ओपन मिल्क ऐसा था जिससे कि हो गई फूड पॉइजनिंग कैन विधान सू द मिल्क सेलर आंसर इज डेफिशियंट गुड्स अगर गुड्स में डेफिशियंसी है तो स्यू कर ही सकता है सिंपल था नो ब्रेनर ये गलत हो जाए तो पाप है हा? अनुराग परिहार इज इन हेस्ट उसने उसने कौशिक ने फोर्टी भेज दिया क्वेश्चन भी चेंज नहीं किया फॉर आई वाज होल्डिंग डाउन क्वेश्चन नॉट सेंड आंसर्स रिसीव्ड ऑल राइट दिन हाउ टू प्ले विद द यूट्यूब लैग गुड गोइंग गंस ऑफ कोर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी मोबाइल फ्रोम फ्रॉम एमेजोन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज ट्रांसफर की बात हुई तो क्या ट्रांसफर किया जा सकता है क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी में दिस द क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफकोर्स ट्रांसफर का अगर केस हो या ट्रांसफर की बात की कर रहे हो तो ऐसे केसेस को वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग से किया जा सकता है तो वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग इज सुटेबल इन दिस केस पीपल मार्किंग बी आई एब्सोल्युटली रॉन्ग अंकुल गलत हो बेटा सी कैलकटा इज दी आंसर विद दिस आई थिंक वी आर डन so still you have double digit days for clat still and then there would be single digit countdown beginning to everybody at home ease yourself a bit take it easy it's about mind game now the way your mind is trained you're going to do that way i wish everybody is playing with a very good emotional quotient and i wish that you train your mind to be in a state of mind where, where you do well so that's that's probably all from my end stay happy stay energetic and yes stay logical with vidhigya your best pal and clat traps yaad rakhna jeetna to hame hi hai all the best everybody good night